Hello everyone, my name is Vlad Catrinescu and welcome to my channel, Vlad Talks Tech. As we're approaching the end of 2022, I'm sure many of you are looking at what learning objectives and certifications you want to do in 2023. With this in mind, I wanted to create a quick video on three brand new certifications that we might expect from Worldwide Learning and Microsoft in 2023. So let's get started right after the intro. Awesome, so let's get started. First things first, I want to acknowledge that Microsoft already has a really huge certification portfolio. Right now we're looking at over 50 different certifications split across five big domains. We have the Azure portfolio, the Dynamics 365 portfolio, the Microsoft 365 portfolio, the Power Platform, and then we have Security, Compliance, and Identity. In a way, this is the security layer that covers all the previous four portfolios, which of course match with the different cloud platforms at Microsoft. Before we move forward, I also want to acknowledge that earlier in 2022, I did a very similar video which many of you seem to like on five new certifications that we might get in 2022. So let's take a look at how good I did in that video. So that video was five certifications that we might get in 2022. The first one that I predicted was the Power Automate Robotic Process Automation Developer we did get that one with exam number PL500. So that one was a correct prediction. We then had the Exchange Online Support Engineer, which has also happened, so I'm super happy about that. Azure Support Engineer as well. And the Microsoft Cybersecurity Architect, the SC100 exam. So the first four, I was right. However, the last one, did not happen that was maybe a bit more of a stretch and i hoped it would happen really but this one did not happen a viva insights practitioner we still don't have any viva specific certifications yet but with all the announcements uh, i'm sure one of them will come our way but we'll talk more about viva later okay so before we move to the different certifications I just want to say that I don't have any inside information on those certifications. It's just educated guesses based on my knowledge of the industry, as well as any public tidbits of information that Microsoft released throughout the year. With this in mind, let's take a look at our first potential certification for 2023, which is the Microsoft Teams Meeting Space Specialist. Now, you might wonder, Vlad, a certification for Teams Meeting Spaces? Well, in my opinion, now that hybrid work has become a permanent thing in so many organizations across the globe, the Microsoft Teams Meeting Rooms will really be a huge part of that hybrid workspace. If we also take a look at how, well, first of all, this is a premium license for Microsoft, so it's really good marketing strategy to have people certified on this. And we also have a huge demand in that space. Now that Cisco will be a certified Teams hardware partner, we also have Microsoft Places that got announced at Ignite 2022 that will leverage Teams rooms. So I really believe there is definitely a need for those types of specialists in the enterprise. Now, why do I think this will be coming? A few months ago, Microsoft actually requested 
expert advice on this topic. So they showed us a blueprinting opportunity for the meeting space specialist. Now, again, if you look at the text, it says Microsoft is considering a certification for a meeting space specialist job role. So it's definitely not something that is guaranteed, but it still tells us that Microsoft is looking into that. If we look at a bit of a, the audience or what would be the expected skills measured? So the audience will of course be IT professionals who install and configure Microsoft Teams rooms. What would they need to know? Well, I would believe they need experience with, of course, licensing because there's always licensing in every Microsoft exam, as well as choosing the right hardware for the desired scenario. We have so many different hardware options in the Microsoft ecosystem from 360 cameras to cameras at the front of the room. We have so many different types of microphones. Do we put them on the table? Do we put them on the roof? What is the best architecture of our hardware depending on the room and the scenario that we want to achieve? And of course, planning that room layout and depending on the number of people, I would guess those IT professionals need to understand the different Teams rooms and the Teams signature rooms that Microsoft announced at Ignite and be able to recommend the right layout for the right scenario again. Of course, those IT professionals would need to be able to configure Teams certified hardware as well as manage the meeting solutions from the admin center. So they would need to know how to monitor them, manage them, push updates, whether it's software, firmware, things like that. They would be your go-to IT professional with everything that is related to Teams rooms. Now for me, this will be really interesting on how will this fit with the MS-720 exam? The MS-720, the Teams voice engineer, also covers in a way a lot of the voice and meeting objectives in Teams. So it will be really interesting for me on how those two will work together. Will it be an expert level certification requiring the Teams admin, so MS-700? Or will it be a specialty level certification like the MS-740? I guess we'll have to wait and find out. Okay, now our next, our second expected certification, Microsoft 365 Endpoint Administrator. Now, when Microsoft first switched to role-based certification, there was a big demand for Intune training. I, after looking at all of this, I really, see this as an Intune exam, really. So uh, really a fancy name, but mostly focused on Intune. If we actually take a look, and this is a screenshot, by the way, this is really recent. Microsoft did a blueprinting opportunity for this certification. Let's take a look at the target audience. Candidates for this exam have subject matter expertise deploying, configuring, protecting, managing and monitoring devices and client applications in a Microsoft 365 environment. They manage identity, security, access, policy, updates, and apps for endpoints. They implement solutions for efficient deployment and management of endpoints on various operating systems, platforms, and device types. They implement and manage endpoints at scale by using Intune, Windows 365, Autopilot, Microsoft Defender for Endpoint, and of course, Azure AD, with the obligatory marketing ad in there, part of Microsoft Entra. So really, I'll let you read the other paragraphs while I talk a bit about it. I really think this will be somewhere in the MD exam series. So right now we have 
the MD101 and 101, which are all about deploying Windows. I really think this will be an exam in that same series, maybe an MD200 or something like that, but a lot more focused on Intune. I do see a bit of overlap with the current desktop administrator role. So if this certification happens, it will be interesting to see how much overlap there is between those two different administrator roles. Last but not least, or third certification, is the Dynamics 365 Project Operations Functional Consultant. Now this, again, was a blueprinting opportunity that was done mid-2022. And why do I think this would happen? In all honesty, Dynamics 365 has been getting a ton of certifications in the past two years. I think there are so many dedicated people in worldwide learning on Dynamics 365. And if we really look at it, we actually have more Dynamics 365 certifications than Microsoft 365 certifications, which for me, to be honest, is a bit crazy because Microsoft 365 has so much more usage, so many more admins, but still Dynamics 365 has more certifications, more training packs for Dynamics 365 admins. So really, they've been getting all of the attention. So I wouldn't be surprised if every single module in Dynamics 365 gets their own certification, especially because it's a very strategic cloud platform for Microsoft. I mean, let's be honest, Microsoft 365 is the leading productivity cloud in the world by far, in my opinion. They don't need a lot of marketing. They don't need a lot of numbers for that. It's already the top cloud. Azure, it's second to AWS. Everybody knows Azure is huge. Of course, it's a big, big, big moneymaker at Microsoft. So Azure has a ton of certifications. Power Platform is also a leader in their own domain. But Dynamics 365 has a lot of competition from Salesforce, HubSpot, many other CRMs out there compete with Dynamics 365. And I guess that Microsoft wants to have the training material to train a bunch of new Dynamics 365 consultants, administrators. This way, when they go to customers, they can say, hey, you'll have no problem finding IT professionals to actually manage your Dynamics 365 implementation. So I think that's why it's such a huge focus at Microsoft. So those are the three certifications that I think will happen in 2023. And let me add a quick bonus. This is more of a wish list than an educated guess. And for those of you that watched the 2022 video, it's the same wish list. This is still what I have on my Christmas list this year. First of all, a Microsoft Viva Fundamentals. Last time I was hoping this would happen, we only had Viva Topics, Viva Insights, Viva Learning, and Viva Connections. Now, in the past six months, we have Viva Engage, Viva Amplify, Viva Pulse. So we have so much more content in Microsoft Viva. I would say there is, in a way, more products in the Viva suite than the Power Platform suite. So we might actually get a Viva Fundamentals exam, I think, with the new products we have in there and the push that Microsoft is doing, we might actually get it. So I'm hopeful for 2023. Next up, something that is near and dear to my heart. I've been wishing for this for a couple of years now. I almost want to take it off my Christmas list because I'm afraid I will be disappointed, but I still believe there's a need for training content 
for a Microsoft 365 collaboration consultant or engineer, however Microsoft wants to call it. The truth is that right now, there is no official training materials for somebody to become a SharePoint admin and OneDrive for Business admin. And yet, those products get hundreds of petabytes daily. We need those admins. But Microsoft only has a few slides for each one of them inside their MS-100 exam. So I really, really, really hope we're going to get a collaboration engineer exam, somebody that does SharePoint, OneDrive, Yammer, a bit of Viva, a bit of Microsoft Teams on the collab side, a bit of Microsoft 365 Groups and Planner. I believe there is a need for that, and I would love to see an official certification, and I really hope that uh, it's going to happen. Last but not least, uh, keeping on the Viva team, I would love to see an associate level Viva certification as well. So I'd really like to see something more advanced, especially as, again, Viva will have over six different products now. So I really hope that we're going to see something. It might be specific to a Viva module or to a Viva team that we have now. So I really can't wait to uh, see if we're going to get any Viva certifications and hopefully both the fundamentals and an associate one. This is it really for me for what I would love to see in a Microsoft certification portfolio next year. Please do let me know what do you hope that we are going to see next year? Are there any certifications from the one I talked about that you're excited about? Are there any of them that make no sense to you? Do you have your own personal wish list? Well, please do let me know in the comments. I would love to uh, hear your opinions on it as well. And thank you very much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed.